I've been asked about how I do pitch tests, and so I thought I'd go through that process today. I took a pitch test dial from FPitch software, and I printed that out to the dimensions of 22 by 28 for a 30 LPI microlens sheet. And in this case, I wanted to measure that sheet from a 47 inch viewing distance. So I placed my digital camera 47 inches away from the sheet and took this photograph. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that this photograph is leveled correctly. So I, I always like to put a red, green, blue stripe on my pitch test targets in the center, and I use that when I line up the sheet to the lens. So in this case, I'm going to marquee that, and I'm going to go image rotation arbitrary. And if the camera was at a slight angle, that would correct or compensate for that. So now I have this uh, rotated level. The next thing I want to do is duplicate this background layer, which I've done here, and then I'm going to use a command called threshold, which basically turns this grayscale image into pure black and white, and I leave it at center default of 128. I'm just trying to make the chart easier to look at. Now I make another layer, and this time what I do is I grab the marquee tool, and I come over here, and I grab what appears to be the center of that black area, and I'm going to stroke that. So let's go stroke, and maybe I'll stroke it 10 pixels. Okay, so that puts a box around what I think the correct pitch area is. I'm going to deselect that, and I'm going to use a line tool here. And I grab the line tool and I sort of put it in what appears to be the center of this box, you know, up and down. And I click and I drag, but as I drag, I hold the shift key and that keeps that arrow going perfectly horizontal. And now we'll zoom in on this. And so this fat tick mark here is a 30.18. The one above it is 30.17, so in this case I would say the pitch would be 30.175. And if I turn off the threshold, you can actually see, once again, the actual chart. So a little crazy down here in the lower left corner, you can see my tape measure. So I have that on the light box at the same level as the lenticular sheet, and then the rule actually goes up to 47 inches, and that's where I place my camera. Now if you have a very thick camera, uh, what I generally recommend is having the back of the camera at that distance, so roughly the focal point of the sensor. I uh, hope that helps. That's my process.